Tonight, a struggling birthday party entertainer who couldn't get a break until he reinvented himself and used his bad boy style to create a new breed of rock and roll illusionist who made magic shiny shirt era disappear. People can't handle it, that's their problem. He lived a rock and roll lifestyle. I love the stunts. He was ahead of his time. He did one thing one time where he just filled the room with a bad smell. But even as he pushed himself to wilder stunts and greater heights of fame, his turbocharged celebrity lifestyle was taking its toll. He just snorted Coke and drank Jack Daniels for like seven hours straight. Now why I stayed there and watched the whole time and actually applauded during that, I can't answer for that. And then one day, it all came crashing down. Rebirth wasn't just the worst idea for a stunt ever. It, it was by far the grossest stunt ever. It was gross. <laughs> it was really, really gross. I still think about that woman from time to time, and it's just, oh. Rebirth uh, killed his career worse than uh, Hot the Trot killed mine. The story of magician Damien Rust on tonight's Lifeography. Rust. Before the grunge, there was the geek. In the basements and backyards of Long Island, New York, a young boy named David Ruskowitz was learning to make magic. He always knew he wanted to be a magician. He was playing birthday parties by the time he was eight. I had to tell my friends, look, my son can't help that he's a magician. That's just the way he's made. He's my boy, he's a magician, and I love him. Though I do wish he wasn't a magician. I was a pretty cool kid. You know how you can tell that someone was not a cool kid? If they can do magic. You can't learn to do things like, uh, like this, or like this, unless you've had, you know, countless hours uninterrupted by things like girlfriends or friends or. Any new trick that I learned, I would bring it to school and perform it for my friends. In fact, my first escape was from my locker. By the time he left high school, David was already marketing himself. I used to love being sawed in half. I thought it was a hoot. Years later, after my hysterectomy, the concept didn't seem quite so hilarious. But the golden age of the puffy-shirted glam illusionist was coming to an end, and young David Ruskowitz found himself out of work and out of luck. Those were lean years for magicians, even for me. And I could do tricks that no other magicians could pull off, like nailing Claudia Schiffer. <laughs> it was there, on the streets, unable to afford costumes or assistance, that a small, simple idea began to take shape. Here, caught on a tourist's video, is the first known appearance of Damien Rust, street magician. And here you can see the opera house. Or wait, has my husband gotten lost and led us to some piece of shit part of town? We're okay. Uh -huh. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to see a magic trick. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see it piss the hell off. <laughs> oh, come on, Mark. It might be fun. What's the trick? How much money do you have in your wallet? I'll stand back here. Hundred sixty-five. Hundred sixty-six dollars. Okay, put the wallet back in your pocket. This should be interesting. Oh. Okay, take the wallet back out. Tell me how much money you have. Well, there's still, wait, the wallet's empty. That's amazing. <laughs> how did you? You are a fucking idiot. But in that desperate moment, a new kind of magic was born. At the time, no, we had no idea that we were helping to create the next generation of magic. We were just getting robbed. I had a torn ACL. A lot of people would call what he was doing mugging or raping or peeping Thomism or whatever, but it was always magic. What do you feel that you've learned from this experience? Not to flash money in your wallet in an alley. Yeah. How much money do you have in your wallet right now? Oh, probably a couple hundred. She's right, I'm a fucking idiot. Damien scored big with his first network special and DVD, Magic of the Streets. And its follow-up, More Magic, More Streets. And suddenly, Magic had a new breed of superstar. Is this your card? No. I can't hear you. Is there something in your mouth? Is oh, that your card? Oh, oh, oh my God! It's my card! It's my card! 
it was like, it, it was lo-fi, it was, it was kind of, it was punk, you know, it was grunge. It was as if magic underwent a major spangolectomy. It was dirty, it was dirty, and it didn't bathe. Are you ready? Watch yourselves. Is this your card? No. <laughs> How about that one? Oh my God! <laughs> it was genius. Take away the cameras, the props, the costumes, and you just shoot people at their most vulnerable. Or am I thinking of amateur porn? No, I'm thinking of magic. It was magic. Well, Damien was street magic. I was a fan in the sense that I would watch them and enjoy them and learn from them and get excited by what I saw in them. But other than that, I was not a fan of the street magic specials. Okay, put the card back in the deck anywhere you want. Do you remember what it is? Yep. Okay. Want to see something really cool? You ready? Ah! Oh! Why would you do that? Is that your card? Why would you do that? Is that your card? Yes! It is That's my card! <laughs> ah! Who's a good you boy? You fuck! Who's a good ah! boy? When we come back, alt-rock attitude turns into hard rock cash and fame. Damien had it all. And later, Fame takes its toll as Damien turns to harder stunts <laughs> and harder living. See that motherfuckers? Me and Rob Downey just made a gram of pure Colombia. Disappear. When lifeography continues. From the backyards of suburbia to the skyscrapers of New York came Damien Rust. The man who brought magic back to the streets, and the streets back to magic. I don't actually think enough people realize that this whole thing started as theft. But instead, he stole America's heart and made critics vanish. You're Damien Rust fans now. Big. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, Mark has been Damien Rust for Halloween every year since the incident. At one point, everyone was watching uh, The Magic of the Streets, and it was a huge hit. Is this your testicle? <laughs> what? Oh my God, that's my testicle. <laughs> How did you? With the gritty handheld feel of Magic of the Streets, Can which I... is so much more fucking real than all the bullshit that's out there. But it, it's still completely fake. I don't know. Is it? Well, yes, of course it is. Yeah, okay. And could we, I would prefer if rather than fake, you use the word faux. Faux? Faux. Even fellow magicians were beginning to see the light. So here was this young trickster who just, you know, rose from the ashes of, you know, the old magic blow dry era. And it's like he gathered those ashes together and just, just made them into pixie dust. I mean, like cool pixie dust, you know, not like, not like the gay kind. I mean. Now Damien's illusions are fantastical. But his biggest illusion so far is that poor boy costume he wears. And I know he's got better outfits than that because I personally sent him over two dozen spangly jumpsuits. I've never seen him wear them once. Doug Henning, that lispy bullshit, the half a fairy motherfucker needs a slap, has been, bullshit act. I'm a fan of his, but after hearing those quote unquote quotes, I don't know quite how I feel about him now. I do know how I feel about him, but I don't know if I want to speak about how I feel about him. Because of the code of magicians. The code of magicians, and then he's an asshole. The bad boy was now the big boy. And Damien Rust wasn't just joining the A-list, he was dating it. In the space of one month, Damien was romantically linked with Kim Kardashian, Scarlett Johansson, and Gary Shandling. Yeah, he was a total rock star, except he was better because you wouldn't have to, you know, memorize his lyrics or see him live or anything. He did a lot of drugs. See that, motherfuckers? Me and Rob Downey just made a gram of pure Colombian. Disappear. And the pants, it's magic. Actually, I kind of need those pants, eh? Ow! He would keep a live dub stuffed down the front of his pants at all times. 
either that or, or his penis eats popcorn. I walked in once and uh, he was injecting heroin into his cock. Damien had it all. As Damien grew into an international sensation, his tricks grew with him. Gone were the back alley card tricks and he turned towards giant feats of magical endurance, like the French dangle, Burning Man. Let's do this. Buried in poo, and 18 hours in a small room with James Earl Jones. Probably the only one I wouldn't do again. That wasn't a good idea. That was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Oh, now I was completely impressed with that one. I knew a guy one time who took a two hour bus trip with James Earl Jones, and he was never the same. Horrifying. Who could endure such pain? 18 hours in a room with James Earl Jones is not a stunt. That is a privilege, an honor. It's like having an audience with the Pope or, or getting to meet the king. Is there a king? Here. I don't know where. Yes. I would like to meet him. Baird and Poot was one of my favorites. It was pretty on the nose, but he really achieved the effect of being buried in poo. And that was the uh, first George Bush's presidency, and frankly, we were all buried in poo at that time. I never got the idea that just putting up with something for a long time is magic. I, I think the, the rest of us call that marriage. Plus, the other guy, the jerk off, where'd he go, underwater? What's more scary to you? Being underwater, like a hot bath, or being buried in shit? everybody! All right, let's do this. I mean, I was just in the neighborhood. I needed some luggage and some nail polish, so. Magic and rock and roll. Those are two powerful elements, but you add a third thing, parking lots, and you're in heaven. Well, that's rock and roll magic, dude. In the dark, screaming corners of your mind, where fear meets fucking flat out dementia. That's where I live. Who lives in the dark, screaming corners of your mind? I have a little light in there that I keep on at all times, so nothing can hide there. Up next, a giant stunt, a giant stumble. He went too far and a tiny little adversary when lifeography continues.